beautiful day to dig beets. Truck 29 here, Matt, he's got some sort of serious trouble, it seems like. Yeah, Heidi said he, she almost went off, way off the road. Like, she sounds kind of shaken up. We've seen probably a half dozen trucks roll over this year of our neighbors. without whales. Yeah. Um, half broke if you ask me. These are the flails. They clean the top of the beets. And when they're broken like these here and this one here and one of these is missing and one's missing here and one's missing here. Well they're they're spinning and just rotating air. They aren't uh, cleaning the beets. So we're not doing a good enough job cleaning up the beets and taking the greens off. You can see it's all mud. You're not supposed to be digging in the mud because it breaks everything and just makes a mess. But we weren't rotobeating clean so you just naturally lower it because hey it's not doing a good job, lower it, hey. Well, there's no flails left, you're in the mud, it's time to just replace them and be done. So in order to do a quality job of rotobeating. Yeah, we gotta pull these pins out and then we're gonna replace these here. Replace, replace the broken ones. We're just gonna put all new ones on since we're gonna be pulling every pin out anyways. Yep. And then I'll save the save the good used ones for the next time I need to do individual replacement. There we go. Well I need okay, then I need two boxes. Give me three boxes.
said he she almost went off way off the road. Like she sounds kind of shaken up. Was she going north or where was she exactly? She didn't really. Yeah, tell she me. she she's coming loaded. She's coming loaded off of you know eleven right here by the Pittsburgh elevator because she's yep. loaded. Yep. Here goes the truck number. He's coming by me right now. So, you were was, you were empty going north? No, I was loaded going uh, east. On Highway uh, 11. 11. Yep. And he was coming, I don't know, it was 159 or 160. Was he was coming off that dirt road from yeah, the field and, and he was going him. north. Yeah, and yep. it's like, he sees me, he sees me. By the time I get there, he didn't, he didn't, he didn't make the stop. So, I just I, I just pulled my, my wheel and then I thought, he's going to hit me, he's going to hit me because he just braked at, at the half of the ha uh, stop sign. And then uh, I just hit the gas and he's going to hit me on the trailer, he's going to hit me, but... You can see the the tire marks on the stuff. Are you okay? Well, I cried for a bit. I was so scared. So are you all right? Yeah, I'm okay. Okay. But anyways, I thought I was gonna. I yeah. just hold on on the wheel plate. Well, we also got his trailer number. Okay. And so we. And you can see the tire. I mean, he braked, and thank God there was not a car coming down. Yeah. From there, because I, I just swerved to my left and just hit the gas more, because I thought he was just gonna hit me on mine. The, okay. the passenger side. But we called his boss and told him what happened and gave him the trailer number and okay. you know, but just yeah. but if, if you need to take a little break, take a break. And just keep driving defensively and watching yeah, out. I, and, I, I mean yep. who doesn't see a pink truck? Who doesn't see Great. It? <laughs> yeah. And it was like far. I mean he could see like he was coming yeah. half a mile from where he was going ahead, getting yeah. out. Our trucks get about 250 to 350 loads a year and they're going to do the majority of those loads 80 percent or more in a 15 to 20 day span so that's just a lot of opportunities for accidents to happen we've seen probably a half dozen trucks roll over this year of our neighbors or in the valley you know our trucks they they make mistakes and they're not perfect they're, and you, you put enough miles on in a day in, a, in an environment like this where we've got 35 trucks running or whatever it is today, just straight over our neighbors are three miles away, they've got 18 trucks. There's a neighbor just to the north of us with six trucks, a neighbor just to the west with 12 trucks. There's a neighbor to the east with 22 trucks. And, you know, we're all going to the same place. So you get to that factory and you see all those trucks lined up, they all went down the same roads. They've all got the same type of people that maybe didn't grow up in this area. And, don't drive truck year round. And in North Dakota, these truck drivers are not required to have a CDL. They're only required to have a valid driver's license to drive a vehicle, a class D license in North Dakota. So a lot of these guys are, are plumbers and, and uh, concrete workers and, and uh, oil field workers and, and uh, unemployed the rest of the year things like that and this is this is it they come in here to make their money and this is what they do and and in this environment they're tired you know they're they're pushing themselves there's a lot of traffic a lot going on and accidents happen and uh, you know we try to at, at the very least make sure that our trucks and our drivers are not the instigator of the accidents uh, they're gonna get into accidents and, and uh, our trucks get cut off by the other trucks at stop signs just as often as we cut them off and and uh, it's all in a matter of just trying to be in a hurry and get there fast and get it, get the job done. And so another thing that we preach to our drivers constantly is that we do not want them to speed. We want them to go to the speed limit. We've They're all paid by the hour and if you're paid by the hour, I just don't understand if this is your only job all year, why you would want to speed and get your job done faster than we want you to. We want to follow the law. We want to do that not only in, a, in a, how heavy we load our trucks, but also in how fast those trucks are going down the road. We know that some are going to speed and we preach to them all the time about going the speed limit. We've proven it time and time again, where we've got one truck driver we know is going fast and blowing stop signs, and we've got another truck driver that's going slow and and stopping at stop signs, and they're both hauling legal loads, and they're both hauling the same amount of loads in a day. And how is that? Because that slower truck driver is probably making up the time at the in the field or at the piler, 
just doing something a little bit different, a little bit better. You guys have to shut down for heat? That's what I heard. I think so. We can haul with 16 and 17 and 32. Do you want to do that now? Yeah, we can haul. We can keep hauling with okay. those. So you go drive 16, keep going with 16. And four. Okay, uh, just go to the cart here and we'll get you loaded up. And then you can keep coming back. We'll load in the field after. Okay? Yep, north side only. So your daughter's first time actually moving a rotobeater. Yep. Her first couple days uh, have come and gone by and she was too scared to move and I don't blame her and uh, she's never really driven a tractor till well about two weeks ago and uh, we just moved a six, six mile move pretty easy nice wide roads and I told the veteran guys to just take it easy go about 15 miles an hour and well she made it so hopefully she's got some butterflies going huh? Adjusting, but we'll get it as soon as they get rolling. What do you look for when you're setting depth on those? 
Well, we're not in the ground, number one. I don't want to be hitting the dirt and breaking the flails and ruining the equipment. It's just excess wear and tear. And number two, just trying to get the beats as clean as possible so I can deliver the best product to the factory for storage and processing. Well, truck uh, 29 here, Matt, he's got some sort of serious trouble, it seems like. Truck started to tell him to shut down and stop immediately, so he did. And Then he tried to move to get out of the way, and, well, it, he said that didn't work, so I don't know what that means, but I'm here now. I'm just going to see what's what. But in, he's on the at north scale road. He's on, loaded on the empty road, but he's out of the way. About to move, not quite yet. Yep. What's already going through your mind to make this happen? Well, the safest route for the, everybody to go so we don't run into traffic, number one, because there's still a lot of trucks and farmers doing other things around us and uh, just getting to the new field the right way. Uh, other than that, everything kind of fall into place. Uh, I just got to get moved in a timely manner and Kind of the end and the beginning is all this the, the finish and the startup is always the most hectic yep and then when it's dark out it's even more who's that lifter on the east headland who's that okay well kenny bob and we through these trucks and this mess and come over to these beats that we left because they were too hot over by my pickup if you can see me in the middle of everything here dad can i go to school tomorrow tomorrow yeah we're, the lifters are going to be right on our tail in the morning it's going to be hot well not in the morning Mm. We're gonna have to road a beat right away. Oh, you're right. Maybe after we get caught up in the morning a little bit. Okay. You just go a little bit late. Okay. Okay. Start in the northeast, north side, east opening, yes. 10 4. Well, it doesn't matter what truck I dump into here in the year or not. Oh, not right now, no, there's still a few beats to dig. Yeah, we're gonna move all the, I'm gonna send the trucks home, we're gonna move all the tractors and everything, and. Yeah. Yeah. Well, the rotor beaters will get about one round done, and. And then a little something for the morning. Yeah. It's already 8.30 by the time What's we get... What's it supposed to be tomorrow for your high? Well, 64. So, 
I don't know if they'll chance, uh, you know, with all the beets and near the end of harvest, they might just say stop just to not pile on hot beets. But yeah, plus I'm mean, saying like for tomorrow morning, six o'clock. Yeah, as much dug before they shut down. Yeah, it? we're gonna start at six. Yeah. Yes. 62 tomorrow, 64 on Tuesday. Yeah. Hell, we'll be able to go do corn. <laughs> there you go. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, I get that packed up, get ready to move on that. Go to the west side there. 